Hmm. Is your dad a good driver? Yes. Your mom a good driver? Yes. Do you ever take the car out and drive? No. no never? Don't you have any fun? Little Gabby Rabbi, how are you today? I am fine. I am fine. All right. Now we're going to try to get a little test done with you today. So let's see. You, you sit as close as you can to your camera, to your computer, so I can hear you clearly. Okay, so sit right up, close as you can. Okay, now you're too close. Now you're scary. Down. <laughs> Did you go swimming? Your hair is all wet. Yeah. You went swimming. Uh -huh. Ah, can you swim? Can, can you swim fast? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh huh. I see. All right, so what are we going to read today? We're going to read the about the accident or are you going to read about the postman? I don't know. Okay, you have the. You can accident. look in the workbook. Wow, all right, let's do it. Like let's do the accident on page 63. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is your first test. All the way from the Philippines. We just hope we get a good connection today. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to have you read the story to me so I can see how well you're reading, how well you're pronouncing the words, and how fluent you are while you're reading. After we read, you're going to tell me about the story so I can see how well you use your grammar and how much vocabulary you use. And then I'm going to ask you some questions to make sure you understand everything, to score your comprehension. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to read the story to me. Take your time and try to speak as clearly as you can. No race. Just take your time. Okay. You read the story to me now. Go. Last month, two brothers, 16 year old George and 18 year old David, were on their own at home. One Saturday afternoon, their parents were on a weekend trip, some with some friends. They were in dad's car, George was born and wanted to have an adventure. Let's drive into town this evening, he suggested to David. You're right, King. You can drive Mom's car. David wasn't happy about it because he wasn't allowed to drive Mom's car. But he was bored too, so he agreed. The boys arrived in town. The center decided to go on his trip on to the cinema. David parked the car carefully outside the film. So they stopped at a cafe and ordered pizza. Their friends, Sally and Emily, were, were there going to a nightclub. Said, so, do you want to come? The boys were tired, so they agreed. They, when they arrived at the nightclub, David parked the car carefully in the street. George said, George and David stayed in the nightclub for a long time. They, they 
really good still hard to hear you um but i'll i'll be able to listen to it again and turn the volume up to listen but it sounded really really good so yes it sounds very good okay did david and george get in trouble did they get in trouble no no they didn't mm, all right Were David and George home alone that Saturday afternoon, or were they with friends? They were home alone. They were home alone, that is true. Where did David and George's parents go? Hmm. With friends? Yeah, they went on a little... A little trip with some friends, that's true. Why did the boys decide to go downtown? Why did they, they were both bored. Because they were both bored. Don't they have video games or something? They could just play like Pac-Man or something, couldn't they? <laughs> Do you play any video games? No. No. <laughs> Do you even know what a video game is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> hmm. Did George and David meet Sally and Emily at the cinema? Did they meet at the cinema? Did they all watch a movie together? You can look in the book. It's okay. Goal here is yeah. to be able to find the answers. Yeah? They met in the cinema? No. Where did they meet? A restaurant. Pizza. Yeah, some pizza cafe somewhere. Do you like pizza? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite pizza? I like Hawaiian pizza with pineapple and the ham. Oh, you like the Hawaiian too. Many people think it is a sacrilege to put pineapple on a pizza, meaning very bad. But I agree with you. I love Hawaiian pizza. It's very good. Did David and George believe that they caused the dent in the car? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what a dent is? Like something like a big bump in the car? Yeah, kind of bump inside, yeah? Called an indentation. Yeah. How can you get a dent on a car? When another car crashes into a car. When another car crashes into a car, yeah. Or or you crashing into a tree. <laughs> or something like that. Hmm. Is your dad a good driver? Yes. <laughs> your mom a good driver? Yeah. Do you ever take the car out and drive? No. No? Never? Don't you have any fun? 
Are you sure you and Gabriel and Emmanuel don't take the car sometimes and just go drive around before mom and dad find out? No. No. <laughs> no, not a good idea. Hmm. Yeah. Did the mechanic fix the car before their parents came home? Mm hmm. Uh huh. When did the mechanic fix the car? 7 p.m. 7 p.m.? <laughs> no, it was 7 a.m., but what day? Sunday? It was Sunday, that's right, because they took the car out Saturday night. Hmm. All right, last big scary question. Mm. Were the boys responsible for the dent? Mm. No. So who was responsible for the dent? Whose fault was it? Mm. Their mom. <laughs> yeah, their mom. Did their mom crash into somebody? Did she crash into a tree? And uh, another driver I mean. She did She what? Another driver. The mother. Did the mother drive the car into a tree? How did she get a dent? A van crashed into her car. A van crashed into her car. That is correct. That is very, very good, Gabby. What are you going to have for dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Do you do all the cooking? I mommy cooks. Mommy does most of the cooking? Mm -hmm. Dad, does dad do all the, do some cooking? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't fry or anything. I don't fry or anything. I just do the same thing. Thing. Say what? You're going to have ice cream? I said I only do the same thing when I help. You only sometimes you help cooking dinner. Uh, it's difficult to hear you. <laughs> all right. Okay, Gabby, that's it. We're all done. You did really, really well. And as soon as I catch up, I'm going to edit your video and send it to you so you can see yourself. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.